All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about else if. So we've talked about MATLAB logic. We've been building on it. We covered relations between numbers, numbers and variables, two variables. We've covered looking at two arrays, what we get. We've talked about string comparisons. Uh, and in the last video, we talked about if and if else state uh, blocks, logic blocks. We're going to build on that. But to do that, we sort of want to make it a little bit more dynamic. So we're going to say grade equals, um, and we'll say input, and we'll say please enter your current grade in the course. Now we're not going to say anything punitive. We're not going to say anything dynamic or like, you know, congratulatory. We're just going to ask the user, please enter your grade. And then we're going to go into it. So the user can enter any grade. So we want to be more specific. We'll say um, zero to 100. All right. So hopefully the user understands that. But as we've talked about, the users can break anything. So here we go. Now, look, we're going to say if the value the user enters is greater than or equal to a 90, then we're going to display you have an A in the course. Okay, now, that's if the value that the user enters is greater than or equal to a 90. If the value in grade, actually let's uh, put this in parentheses, grade is less than a 90, and the value in grade is greater than or equal to an 80, okay, then we have a B. So now, I'm sorry, I typed if. This should be else, else if. Then we're going to display you have a B in the course. All right. Now, this is our, our next level of gate. So this is our new introduction. So we have a gate. We talked about that last time. At some point, we're going to have an end down here. Let's go ahead and put that in. We had an if. We have an end. We talked about adding an else to all of this, how it was a catch-all, and you can sort of read it as otherwise. My gate comes with a condition. I'm going to put that one in parentheses because I guess we're going to put all of our conditional assessments. We now have an and. Okay, so we've talked about ands, uh, but now what we have is something where for this gate to be tripped, both grade is less than 90 and grade is greater than or equal to 80 have to be true. Once those are both true, we would step in and we would execute this action. Uh, unfortunately, we have more grades, so let's go ahead and just copy this and we'll paste, 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 and we'll say, look, so now we said if it's less than or equal to a 90 and greater than or equal to an 80, we'll say if it's less than an 80 and greater than or equal to a 70, we'll say if it's less than a 70 and greater than or equal to a 60, and if it's less than a 60, um, that's it. So we have an A, we have a B, we have a C, we have a D, and we have an F. All right, cool. So now we have everything that we need. But the last one doesn't need to have conditions associated with it, okay? If the grade that the user entered is not greater than or equal to a 90, if the grade that the user entered is not less than 90 and greater than or equal to 80, if it's not less than 80 and greater than or equal to a 70, if it's not less than 70 and greater than or equal to a 60, otherwise we execute this action. Okay, so we don't have any conditions tied to this. This it, We entered into a logic block with our if statement. We now have other gates that are conditional. Okay, this is our condition. Um, so we have one, two, three, four gates that are conditional. If the condition attached to any of those gates is found to be true, we would step in, we would execute this code, and then we would leave the logic block. We only execute one at a time. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to press run. So let's say a 98. Now I want 98, and it says you have an A in the course. So good, congratulations. But here's the deal. If the grade is greater than or equal to a 90, we trip this gate. If the grade is not greater than or equal to a 90, but is greater than or equal to an 80, we trip the second gate. You have a B. Let's check uh, if we have a C, so 76. You have a C in the course. Let's check if we have a D, so 65. And let's check if we have an F. We just put three, it doesn't really matter. You have an F in the course. Now here's the deal. <coughs> there are things in here that are not needed. If grade is greater than or equal to a 90, I'm gonna display this statement, which means I don't need to ask if grade is less than 90. It already is. We know it is because we didn't trip this gate. If we've reached this second gate, this condition was not true. So I'm going to get rid of is grade less than 90. I'm going to get rid of is grade less than 80. I also can get rid of the and because I don't have two uh, relations that I am linking with a logical operator. And then we're going to get rid of if grade is less than a 70. So now I'm going to run this. I bet I get the same outcome. We'll try it. 98, you get an A. 85 or 86 is what I put in. You get a B. Run it, 75, you get a C. Uh, 65, you get a D and three, you get an F. So there you go. So this is an if, else, if, else block. It contains one, two, three, four 
gates that are conditional. These are my conditions. And these conditions can be as complex as you want. This is relating two objects together. But as we showed before, we can then have a logical operator and then another relation, a logical operator and another relation. We could just keep going. We could negate all of this by adding a not, but that wouldn't make any sense in this or in this example. And so uh, this is where we're pretty much going to leave this one. I'm going to do more of these videos where we play with the else if statements. I'm going to do one next that sort of where we play with some MATLAB sounds. So um, again, as I said at the end of my last video, that I've been doing this a long time, so it sort of gets hard from time to time to gauge what it is that I take for granted, what it is that I'm not able to see. So if you have any comments about how this can be done better or anything you'd like to see, leave them in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. And again, I hope this was helpful. So till next time.